I really like good looking, nice, flashy pores just because they momentarily make you look more professional and help you to increase tips. First will be pour and cut. See, I really like this pour just because you can use any bottle, any um, amount of liquid, so it doesn't matter what shape. Uh, you pour, bring it here, and do nice cut. We don't do this like a chasing cut like this, so like the goal is to cut smoothly right here. I always recommend to practice with plastic bottle. You bring bottle close to shaker, and then you do a regular pour. You don't start pour from here just because you might spill, you don't know where the liquid goes. One, lift it up, and then with your wrist and finger, you do a little cut. If you do it like really quick, you might spill. You see, your goal is to do it really, really smooth. Bam. First, bring it close to shaker, start pouring, lift it up, just, no, not too much, just like this should be just fine and then practice few times just this movement. If you're not comfortable to do it like this in the beginning, it's totally okay to, let's say, start pouring and then bring it back down and cut if you're afraid to spill. For example, see the difference. You start pouring, bring it back and cut. But to make it look super, super nice, and then you do the cut. Once you get comfortable, start practicing with your left hand and you should be able to do easy with both hands and cut. Uh, I almost forgot to mention, you see the grip? I basically hold it, this is the grip. So it's much easier for me to do cut that way. One, two. And to make it look even better, I would recommend to finish the sequence. You do the pour, cut, to put it in the left hand, do full rotation and bring it back to the well. So see with the with liquid how it looks. It would be a little bit challenging for beginners if you do it with completely full bottle. So you would need to practice just this movement. We do eyes around the world, full rotation. So don't just do it like this because you will spill if you're only wrist working. So make sure it's like a full rotation and then put it back. You can pour, cut, and then full rotation and bring it back to the well. Next pour is also really easy and all my beginners can do it with no problem. So one, cut, pour. See the easiest version where you just uh, take a bottle, normal grip, so don't grab completely. Now you do reverse and cut. One, two. The same as we were cutting this way, and now you just need to cut from this position. Pretty simple. And let's say when you use uh, two shakers or two glasses, one and two. But that would be too simple. You have, uh, you just to grab it with your index and middle, reverse grip, and try to change, one. So like practice few times. It's one of my favorite pours and you will see why. One, and keep going into the pour, and then cut. So to see the difference, instead of just take it and pour like this, you take it from the wall, reverse grip, full rotation, and pour, cut, pour again, cut, and you can even combine it with the first version where you actually uh, finish and then bring it back to the well. But I will be really happy even if you do the simple version. One, two, cut. Liquid. One, two, cut. You can do one, cut, four, cut. Actually, this move I wouldn't recommend to do with completely full bottle just because it will be challenging and you might spill. If you beginner less than half full or half full, you can do it like this with no problem. But with, the, with full, there might be a little spill. See? So that's why if it's completely full, you would need to make your movement a little bit wider like this. One, two. Uh, and again, it's just that I prefer to do it when there is like a half full or less, it just makes it much, much easier. If this pour is too hard for you guys, just let me know in the comments and I will try to help you. Next pour would be the hardest, but sure, really, really impressive. So this is how it goes. It's actually not that hard, but you just need to figure out and do it with the right technique. To get started, you need to put two wrists next to each other, thumb down, thumb up, and then try to rotate. One, two, and then back and forth to get really comfortable. You see the difference? It's not like your whole elbow working, it's just uh, your wrist um, on top of other wrists, like a helicopter move. <laughs> Start practicing with only one bottle, bottle in your right hand, and the left hand had nothing, so like one like full rotation, full rotation, only one. And then you get more comfortable, you can do two. When you actually will be doing pour, you can do it once, or you can do it twice. 
which is kind of like uh, more of a show, so it's very practical to do it only once. Back to practicing, you get pretty comfortable with the right uh, hand, and then you can try to do the same with left, which usually they're more challenging. And then you put it again back to the right, you take shaker, everything reverse grip. Bottom down, reverse grip. This is the start position, and then you do it like one, and then two. Of course, when you're beginner, most likely it will look like this. So don't be surprised because your wrist nuts are flexible. But when you move it non-stop, so the liquid still stays in the bottle, and it looks really impressive when you finish and pour, cut, bring it and pour into your cocktail. Okay, your shaker from bar top, left hand, bottle from your well reverse grip and just do it at once. Next will be a Red Bull suction fancy pour. First you just need to do a can suction and this is how it works. Make sure that your uh, hand a little wet and if you're right-handed you should be holding can in your right hand. Place can right here in the middle and then do like a half rotation and it's supposed to stack perfectly. I already showed it early in my tutorials and you guys loved it. So first mistake you you need to hold your hand like really straight like as straight as possible. If you try to relax you're gonna lose the can so one more time a right hand reverse grip hold hand like this and you just will need to open like you you twist and open at the same time Whoop. so you will try like maybe five ten times and it will be really easier to do it after that do a twist and it stays here like perfectly you will feel it it's stuck there and you see maybe it wouldn't be convenient you just uh, turn around make sure that it's like really stuck really well and you just uh, pop the can, start pouring. It's really, really impressive, and I'm telling you, I've done it many, many times. Guests absolutely love it. And this is our next pour. So, <laughs> there is not much to actually explain. It's basically simple bar magic, but your guests find it like absolutely fascinating. I'm going to leave the link in the description where you guys can purchase, but you know how it works. There's basically a hook that uh, get hanged onto the shaker right there and then you just like hold it so this is not like super practical of course you can't uh, use it for your every drink but again this is one of those pours where you get like huge reaction from your guests wow how did you do it are you a magician also probably makes sense to mention that pour from four bottles usually get pretty good attention but i decided not to cheat because we don't use this uh, uh too much at the bar thank you guys for staying until the end and as always if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing hit the like button like this <laughs> and i will see you next week Breathe, I'm true